is for my fat women and fat women only. So if you're not fat, keep scrolling. If you're in denial about being fat, the door, the door. I'm not doing this with y'all today. You're beyond help. Hold on, are they gone? All right now, fatties, gather around. I need y'all to lock the fuck in and fast. Cause we're losing the plot. Tip number one, I know a headshot. Hate to see some of y'all coming. If you're gonna be on these dating apps, post full body pictures. And I'm not just talking about one or two. I need you to clock it from every angle. Cause that's exactly what he gonna be doing when he show up to meet your big ass. I don't wanna roll left uncaptured. Do you hear me? Let's not leave any room for confusion. And every time your weight experiences a drastic change, so should the photos on your account. Swap them out. We want to keep everything as updated as possible, okay, head and shoulders? Tip number I think that probably this is very, very accurate, dude. Um, and then also I want to point out, too, a lot of the time for guys, guys don't really take a lot of pictures of themselves. Like, if they do take pictures of themselves, it's usually pictures of their, like, genital areas. Like, they're usually taking, like, one or two dick pics a night or something like that. Really trying to get the appropriate angle, whatever, comparing it to stuff, putting stuff in the foreground or the background to ensure that it looks massive compared to everything else. That's, like, the extent of what most guys take pictures of. Like, for me personally, um, I take, like, one picture of myself, and that is it. That's good. This is the picture that everybody knows. They're going to look at this one and go, this is it. This is the one. Because I'm not taking any other photos um but for a lot of girls and i've been around a lot of girls um it seems like that not like in that particular way but i've talked to a lot of women before and uh it seems like they take a lot of pictures like a lot and they 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 pick the best one out of the 500 that they took and they, the rest of them are just deleted which is crazy um how long do you guys spend in your camera roll i don't know but for me personally it's like maybe one minute maximum but i would say it definitely true if you're if you're questioning whether or not somebody's gonna question you, you shouldn't be. You should probably look at your profile and go, is this a good understanding of who I am? If not, then probably change it up. There have been several times where I met up with somebody on a dating app and uh, they did not look like the person that they were, even if from like, not even from the perspective of being fat, but sometimes people have really good pictures of themselves from like five years ago. And then you meet up with them and you're like, dude, who are you? Like, <laughs> you look completely different. Like this picture I thought like, I saw of you, uh, you have no wrinkles here. What the hell happened to you? Like, why do you have gray hairs now? And it's because you took this picture when you were like 25 or 26 or something. And you're like 32 now or something like you got crow's feet. It's fine. Like we all age, but you're putting out a false representation of yourself. So it's a really, really good idea to ensure that whenever a picture you're putting of yourself, it's recent. The last few months, at least. Um, year maximum, I feel like. So that's a good piece of information with this person. 100%. You should be accurate on the, per the, the person that you are representing yourself on the internet. Number two, stay the hell away from that. And filters too, probably. Um, don't use them as much. I know a lot of people nowadays like to use filters to like smooth away their pores or whatever. And they like to, um, the slimming filters and things like that, like the Becky Jones slimming filters. I get it. I do understand it. Like maybe you have blemishes on your face. Maybe you think you look ugly in a certain day. Maybe you're very, very insecure. You think your face card's not giving. That's fine. I get it. But when you show up on that date and you got freckles and then that face filter smoothed away your entire fucking face and you look like a fresh jar of Skippy peanut butter or whatever they call that shit, then it, people are going to get the false impression. A lot of guys have no idea what you look like without makeup too, by the way. A lot of guys think that your makeup is what it, that's your face. A lot of guys think that actually is your face. If you wear wigs, I promise most guys have no idea what you're wearing. If you're wearing weave or you're wearing um, a protective style or something like that. A lot of guys have absolutely no idea what that is. Same thing with lashes, okay? A lot of guys just think that those are your real lashes. I'm not joking, okay? A lot of guys have absolutely no idea what women are doing to themselves um, pre-date. So just let that sink in. When you have pictures of yourself on, this, on the dating apps and you're wearing makeup and this and that, a lot of guys are going to look at that and go, wow, she's so gorgeous, she's so amazing. But then that one day when you wake up and you look a musty as fuck because you didn't go to bed with your makeup, face beat as hell, you're going to wake up dry as hell. Um, a lot of guys are going to look at you and go, who are you? Who is this person? Because you don't look like the person that they usually see. So, yep, just throwing it out there. We want to keep everything as updated as possible, okay, head and shoulders? Tip number two. Stay the hell away from the I want to try a big girl man. They don't know what- Yeah, but what guy is really saying that? Okay, look, I'm not on the date- I'm not on the, like, the male- uh, side of the dating app. So I have no idea what women are usually going through. Sometimes I'm on the, the Tinder uh, subreddit because it's funny to see people like shoot their shots at people and get completely denied or sometimes they, they succeed. But it's really funny to see those. Um, and I see sometimes that guys can be very, very, I don't know, <laughs> atrocious saying like the most craziest shit. I totally understand that. Um, but are guys really out here literally saying like, hey, oh my God, wow, I just... You're so fat. I wonder what that would taste like on my lips if you sat down on my face. Like, can you just pretend my face is like a toilet seat? Like, I, I presume that's probably something you guys have to deal with. I'm not really too sure. Men don't usually have to deal with that unless it's other men, for, like, 
under a facade of being a woman, which there are plenty of, by the way. Um, if you're on dating apps, you will see a copious amounts of full-blown men, not transgenders either. I'm literally talking about straight-up men that don't like gay men because gay men are too easy for them. So they think that if they, the grand catch, right, like the big one, the biggest tell of how gay you are is if you can convert a, a straight man into a gay man. I've talked to these guys, numerous amounts of dudes that would hit me up because I entertain everybody, not like that in that particular way. But sometimes it makes me feel a little bit better when a gay man hits me up because it's like, oh, you do think I'm hot. And, you know, a lot of gay dudes have a good sense of what is what is not attractive. So a lot of gay dudes will hit me up and they'll go, wow, you're really attractive and I feel better about myself. But then I'll tell them like, hey, listen, you know, thanks you for the compliment. But I'm not gay. I'm not really interested in suckling succotashing on your biggest meatus personally not what I'm interested in and but they'll try they'll try like oh man I know um but hey do you think you can just send me a picture of your biceps hey bro do you think you can just send me a picture of your Adam's apple can you just send me a picture of your butthole real quick can you send me a picture of your ankle and then you're just sitting there like no I, I don't even have a picture of any of those things at all like I'm not in, the, in I, 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 the only pictures I have on my phone are like Dragon Ball photos or screenshots of stuff that I think was funny or maybe like uh sometimes what I'll do is like I'll take pictures of my guy friends and I'll go into like a photo editing app and I'll edit out their face and I'll go on Google image search and I'll look up like gay porn scenes and then I'll just face crop their face on other gay men that are like getting fellatioed by other gay men and then I'll go hey bro what is this what why are you getting sucked off by this are you gay are you getting why are you getting sucked off by another guy you're gay you're really gay there's nothing wrong with being gay but you know it's funny just to have a conversation about what is and what is not gay but Anyway, that's like the extent of it. Like, I don't have any, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not really interested in talking to men or anything like that. That's just gay. What they want, their experiments. And are you a science project? Are you a Sam's Club sample? These be the main ones you got to worry about when it comes to men not wanting to date you. I feel like the main ones are probably the guys that are just fetishizing you, right? The guys that are telling you straight out, hey, listen, you're big. I love it. I love big, fat, ginormous women. Can you please sit on my sternum and tell me that and eat like I don't know Oreos off of my pubic hair like I don't know like I feel like those guys are probably the ones that you have to worry about the most ones that are like gonna feed you to death or like the guys that are like actively looking for big women I feel like those guys because they they don't even really care about you per se they just care about like wh what what your body size is now they might care about you later on but if the guys are just like using you as an experiment or whatever at least to a certain degree they're looking at you post you know past the body right that's like a yeah it's it's it, it they're not in depths of water they usually have been but at least they're looking at you as a person right too publicly y'all be thinking that shit cute wanting to be a nigga first big girl huh <laughs> don't piss me off damn bro There's something about this woman's face i don't know i just don't like it like it's so thin at the bottom and i know that she's really like her face is really thin but the rest of her body is ginormous tip number three turn my mic up for this one is this thing on if you are still insecure about being big, abort mission. Baby girl, you are not ready to date. You looking for somebody to love you? Sweetheart, you ain't gotta look too far. I got a mirror right here. Oh, god damn. That is definitely not what I thought. You way bigger than I thought. I agree. Um, you should probably not be dating unless you know your your value. And you should probably... It's okay to date while you're working on that. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of people will smell the insecurity on you. And a lot of people will use that against you. It really sucks to say that. But there are a lot of people out there that are very malicious and very shit human beings. And they're most definitely only in it to make you feel bad about yourself. I've heard many, many of horror stories of people telling me, like, I dated this person. And I told them this insecurity and then like I thought it was fine. But then like a month later they brought it up and they said that I was terrible and they said I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that or whatever the fuck. Like there are a lot of people out there that will do that. And that sucks. Um, so I'm not saying that it's bad to have insecurities. It's, it's totally fine. It's normal to have insecurities. But if it's something like that, if something is really big that's like literally a part of you like in a big way, then you should probably work on that as much as you can. Now, if you're insecure about being your fatness, right, bigness, your bigness, then you should probably lose weight in my opinion. Um, I don't know exactly what else you would do in that situation. I guess you could self-accept yourself in the sense of like, yeah, I'm fat. I'm probably going to die 20 years earlier. Um, yeah, my knees be crinkling when I get out of bed and I can't really tie my shoes. So I have to wear flats consistently like I'm Amberlynn Reed. Um, yeah, I haven't taken a shower in three weeks, but that's okay because uh, I'm growing people on my body. I, I'm literally a walking greenhouse. Like I'm helping the environment in my own way. I guess if you look at it like that, you could feel better about yourself. But if you really wanted to feel better about yourself, what you should be doing is probably practicing a calorie deficit and then maybe going to the gym uh, every once in a while or maybe just walking. I don't know the, the area that you guys live in. But if I walked in my area, there's like a 35% chance I'm probably going to get shot and there's probably a 50% chance I'm going to get stabbed. So uh, I don't usually walk in my area, but I usually walk away from my area and go to a place that I can, you know, use my legs in an efficient way without getting, you know, hocked up in the back or whatever. But I think that if you're insecure about it, then do something about it. There is something you could do about it there. You don't have to be fat.
It is so unrealistic to expect somebody to give you what you ain't even got for yourself. When it comes to dating, I believe that we should be showing up as representatives of the best versions of ourselves. And although the best version of you doesn't require any weight to be lost, it well, I think it depends on what you're talking about. A lot of people have really weird uh, values and how they set things up. Like what's 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 really really interesting about like a lot of people is that they'll ignore these giant key aspects of themselves, but they'll focus on like the very small stuff and they'll think this is my best aspect of myself. Like I see this a lot in the fat acceptance community where they go, I am healthy because they cut their nails on time or like they have, you know, like they do skincare or they do makeup, but like they themselves are like 300 pounds overweight. Um, I'm happy that you're fixing like you you don't have like, uh, like you're going to the doctor, you get you get good blood, blood pressure and stuff like that, but you're fat. So it's like, it's awesome that you're working on this other stuff, but like the big glaring issue is your weight. So a lot of times I see people go, the weight isn't necessarily a problem because they're not looking at it as a problem, right? Because they've convinced themselves that it's not a problem. And that's fine if you want to look at it like that. But if you're playing a game and it's on hard and you're consistently running into the same issue over and over and over again and you think that somehow, I don't know, changing a weapon or like, uh, I don't know, like picking up a different set of gear is going to do anything else than, you know, just maybe making it a little bit easier but not really making anything else easier. Like lower the difficulty. It's okay. Like I get it. You want to play on hard or maybe you don't know that you're playing on hard but what you should be doing is putting that slider up to normal difficulty. A lot of people nowadays don't realize it. When you're in a bigger box, when you're a fat person, when you're ginormous, you are literally playing on veteran difficulty consistently, like all the fucking time. Like you're a veteran at this game. Like you played every single Call of, Call of Duty or whatever game you're playing, and you're a pro at it. But you don't. You're not a pro. You suck at it. You're like perpetually always failing at shit. So why would you do that when you could just play on normal difficulty or lower in some cases, or even like recruit? I don't know. Whatever. The point I'm making is, when you're fat, you're playing your life on hard mode. It does, however, call for you to be confident in knowing who you are and what you want for yourself. Because what we don't need is you subconsciously projecting your apprehensiveness onto that man. Now he turned off and you hollering, Oh, it's so hard dating as a fat girl. Now, it's hard for you. Damn. And you're making it harder. <laughs> Don't speak for me, please. Because I get niggas. Whoa. Fine. That's you. That's cool. Uh, if that's fine if she... I would love to know what she means by she gets them because a lot of times people will tell you Oh, I can get tons of men or whatever. But a lot of times people are just kind of talking about the idea of a guy, like a guy that's just like in it to have sex with you or a guy that's just like maybe there for a little bit of time and not a guy that's actually dating you, a guy that's not like committed to you, a guy that's not giving you exactly what you want. A lot of people are just putting up with the bare minimum or whatever. And if you're looking to date, then it's probably not beneficial to think that this guy is going to do anything other than just have sex with you. Like, it's fine if you just want to have sex. But most of these people are talking about dating, like actually dating, like girlfriend, boyfriend, lovey-dovey, holding hands, gay shit. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But you probably shouldn't be giving away vagina or penis um, unless that's what you want to do. But it, usually that's not what you want to do because you want to date. Um, I, I, I don't doubt that as a bigger woman, you can get menses to have sex with you. I don't doubt that. I, for a minute, I don't doubt that. From the time of like women being 14, they're like sexualized immediately. So I'm not doubting that, you know, e e even if you were very, very fat. Now, it's going to probably reduce your chances um, and it's going to like reduce the pool. But like, a, like what is really the pool? It's like the difference between being a millionaire and a 10 millionaire. Like you could pretty much buy everything that you could have bought when you were 10 million that you can at 1 million, right? Now, it is a drastic difference. It is. But um, it's really not going to affect you in the sense of having sex. Now, dating, 100% is going to be way, 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 way harder. But, I mean, that's probably not what she's talking about. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Finish working on you, boo-boo. Because these men ain't going nowhere. I promise you. Tip number four. I don't, I don't know about that, dude. I think a lot of people don't realize this, but as you get older, it becomes harder and harder to date for men and women. I know a lot of people out there will say like, oh, men age like wine and women age like milk. I think it's bullshit for the most part. Um, I think a lot, there are some guys out there that the epitome of look goodness as they get older, but not everybody is going to look like that as they get old. Like, for instance, they'll say Henry Cavill or um, Brad Pitt or even... Um, you know, Matt Damon, all these other guys that are like really attractive in their 50s, right? And it's true. These guys are very attractive in their 50s. But I don't think that that's a uh, – that's that's the rule when it comes to men. A lot of guys look deteriorated by like 40. So there's that. And the same thing could be said with women. Um, not to say that women are beautiful at 40, of course. But the point I'm making is like as you get older, you do look more and more busted. So – um, I would say if you want to date and you want to seriously date, it'd probably be better to do it younger. Um, and also you're, you know, you're experiencing things for the first time when you're younger and dating around and stuff like that. So, you know, why would you reduce your chances of finding a potential candidate in your 20s um, or your 30s just because you want to eat more? I, n I never understood that. Like I've met so many people that are 
great, amazing specimens of humanity, but they're really, really fat. And they always complain, like, I don't, I, you know, like, I can't find anybody to be with this and that. And I'm saying, like, you're sacrificing literally decades of your life, um, not just, like, in general, but also in dating for an extra cheeseburger, an extra, you know, donut, whatever, dude. It's just like, what, is it really that worth it? And that really is what it is, bro. You're literally sacrificing these great menses. And don't sit there and be like, oh, these guys or these women are terrible, disgusting people because they don't want to date me at my fatness. Nobody wants to date somebody at that size, bro. It's just like incredibly impractical. It's such a um, an asshole thing to say like, oh, these people are the assholes because they don't want to date you. That's such, that's such a manipulation tactic, dude. Please look inward. Ladies, this is where we're going to land our plane. Go where you are celebrating, not tolerating. It's cool being out and bumping into a man in the crowd that just so happens to like big girls. Well, it's going to be very hard to, you know, it's going to be, my bad. It's going to be very easy to bump into anybody in general, right? Because you got extra mass. Could you imagine what it's like being in a place that's packed with niggas who would worship you in that white ass waist? I think that this is probably good information, but also probably double-edged sword wise. Because if you're bumping into guys that really like you because you're fat, you're probably running the risk of these guys all being fetishized, like fetishizing you. And that could be okay. It's all right to be somebody's fetish or have something that somebody can do in order to, like, enable that fetish. Like, like for instance, um, if you were a guy uh, and you like sucking toes. I know a lot of black guys personally like sucking toes and like putting sweet baby rays on women's feet and stuff like that. Um, it's good. That's awesome. I don't have a problem with guys sucking toes, right? And if you're a woman and you're in a, a commitment, committed relationship with a guy that likes sucking toes, I don't see anything wrong with a woman feeding him her, her manses. Um, her, her toes. I see nothing. I see no issue with that. If that's his fetish, I don't care. Like, whatever. That's that's between you and him. It's nothing wrong with sucking toes, right? It's a little weird, but it's okay. There are weirder things, right? Like, I knew a girl that literally wanted me to put my foot in her vagina, like a New Balance or whatever. And that's a little bit weird. Not necessarily, it's not something that I'm into, but it's not really weird, right? Like, if somebody wanted to poop on you, again, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't do that. I mean, I wouldn't fucking do that. Fuck that. But if that's what you want to do, as long as you're doing it in the bathroom and you have some cleanup afterwards or something like that or a maid that's going to clean up after, I don't fucking know. The point I'm making is, like, if that's what you want to do and it fits within the relationship, that's fine. But it shouldn't be the main reason why you're in the relationship. It just It's like a convenience as, it, as opposed to, like, the whole thing. So if you're fat and these guys are only wanting you because you're fat, then it doesn't really matter if who you are, it only really matters that you're fat, right? Um, it, but in the case of like, for instance, if you're a black guy that likes sucking sweet baby rays off a woman's toes, um, it just so happens that she has toes and you like sucking on them as opposed to her just being a really good person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway. Let me cook. You not for the streets? You a homebody? I got you. Check out some of these plus size dating apps and websites. <laughs> Curvy singles, woo plus, BBW Cupid, BBW admire and largefriends.com. Yeah, you had to move far off out of the way for that one, dude. That's crazy as hell. But um, you know what, dude? I'm going to give her some credit on this. She does have a silk pillowcase. A lot of people don't realize that silk pillowcases are optimal, especially if you have a black lady hair, because um, it, it it's it's less friction upon the hair, and silk in general is way better. I know a lot of people get freaked out because silk is made from worm farts, and that's true. That is true. But it's still really good for your hair. Uh, but yeah, it's fine if you want to go on these places, but you're probably going to run the risk of running into a lot of feeders since this is like, the, this is literally like the watering hole for feeders, bro. This literally seems like if you were, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like if there was a dating app called like, you know, I don't know, dude, like eatme.com and it was just filled with tons of cannibals. Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's just like, you're going to the place, you know where these people are so you can find more of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you trying to be outside? Get into these BBW groups, especially on Facebook, and go to I don't know. Damn, Facebook is crazy. BBW Facebook groups? BBW events. There are tons of them. Long story short, you're going to get out whatever you put in whenever it comes to dating. Yeah, same thing with your gut, too, right? You're going to get out everything you put into your mouth. All times, use your discernment. Do Why not don't you just eat less and then just not even have to deal with this in general? Like, can you imagine making a whole video about how to date as a fat girl and then just literally think about it for more than five seconds and go, wait, I can just, like, lose weight, right, and not date as a fat girl? Go into this with a victim mindset. Because, baby, you're a volunteer. Come on, say it with me. I am not a victim. I am a... You Big belly woman. Biggest bellied woman. Sorry. Damn right you are. Yep. I hope my tips help some of y'all. <laughs> I really do. Now get on out here and make me proud. I want these niggas bagged and toe tagged. I'm fat. I'm saying... Not bad. Not bad, though, if I'm being honest. Girl, I'm an SW, and I am trying to date. Well... 
Let's start with- All right, number one, get rid of the overalls. I don't know who the fuck said to ever wear overalls. Maybe these are not overalls exactly, but it's not a good outfit, okay? I think wearing jeans on the top for a shirt. Don't people automatically complain when you're wearing jeans in general because they say that it's really uncomfortable and everybody wants to be in sweatpants? Makes sense. Why would you wear it on the top and nothing underneath it? Like, I just don't understand that. Five tips. Oh, that's 10. Five tips on how to date as a plus size girly in this horrible, horrible world. Excuse the noise, I live next door to a building site and it's horrific. And we start in this bit. So number one, I think it's really important to realize that as a fat girl, you are gonna get fetishized. It's just the way of the world, unfortunately. People get a little stonk on for fat birds and they don't know how to admit it. So I, I think it's totally fine to be fetishized as long as the fetish is something that the other person wants, you know? or it's um, not gonna negatively affect the relationship in a drastic way. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a, uh, I got a black friend and he likes, he likes to be called the N word from his white girlfriend. That's what they're into. You know, who am I to say that it's wrong? Um, it's what they wanna do. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. It's fine. It's whatever, dude. It, it's okay. He, see, I remember him literally telling me about it. He was like, hey man, do you think it's weird? Um, like, would you ever call like a black girl the N word? And I was like, I no, probably not. Uh, I guess it would depend on the situation, right? Obviously, if I was getting paid, maybe. And he was like, well, you know, man, I don't know. I just, I just kind of like it when my girl calls me that shit. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, that's you know, I, I don't know what's the scenario is she saying it in? Like, what, like, you know, what is she calling like a robber or something like that? And he's like, nah, bro. She just be, I just like to role play. Like, she's master's wife, and you know, I got that BBC, and I'm a man dingo. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's weird, but it's okay. Like, well, you know what it is, what it is. What do you want from me, bro? What do you want, huh? What? I don't know. I remember literally during like the the the, the 2020s, right? Mid 2020. Uh, I remember I had a black friend. He told me like during the whole BLM, um, you know, the BLM stuff was going on, right? There were so, he was on the dating apps at that time. And he told me there were so many white girls that would hit him up and feel bad that he was black. Literally. He even showed me the DMs where these girls would be like, oh my God, it's so, I'm so, it's so insane that you have to deal with this, like police brutality and you being black, systemic oppression. Like, what can I do? Like, how can I help you? How can I help you? Like, be, you know, like transcend this and, and, and like, you know, uh, um, not have to deal with that. And he would just respond with suck my dick. And then they would come over and he, they would do that. And it would be a lot of women. And I'm just thinking like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? It's like it's crazy as hell. And it would be more than one woman that would do that. Um, and he'd be like, yeah, whatever, bro. Snow bunnies are snow bunnies. And I'm just like, yeah, well, I guess I can't get snow bunnies because I'm white. It doesn't work like that. I couldn't be, I mean, technically I am a snow bunny since I've only ever dated black women, but you know what I'm saying? I know I have to have my boundaries in place and what I want and what I expect and I make it very, very clear. I don't want hot and cold. I don't want you to message me when you've got a little boner. I want consistent communication and I want respect. Well, isn't that like obvious for most people? Like it's cool when somebody does message you with a boner, but that shouldn't be like the be all end all. That shouldn't be like the only thing, obviously. I think that's obvious for most people. Too, and I feel like this is for anyone dating. I feel like the last one was for anybody dating, but okay. If he's not messaging, then he's not that into you. It's as simple as that, okay. and it's the truth. If he's taking days to message, you aren't his number one gal that he's messaging, or he's just not that bothered in dating, and he's a little bit of a fuckboy. Yeah, obviously, if if you're talking to guy, if you're talking to a guy or girl, and you're not getting a message back after days. Uh, yeah, obviously that person doesn't care about you, dude, and they're not making you a priority. Duh, duh, duh. What is even this? Like, it's odd. This is so obvious, bro. Is anybody looking at this video and going like, oh my God, this is totally true. I can't believe this one is like spitting some serious facts. If the guy doesn't message me back after four days, he doesn't like me. Oh my God, how could I not know? Everybody knows. Everybody did. Three. A lot of these boys fancy the pants off you, but they are too- I think we gotta chill back on saying a lot of these boys, because it's like very um, dismissive language. Like you're you're insinuating that a lot of the guys that don't want to talk to you are not talking to you, not because they, they genuinely don't have a good reason to, but because they're immature and they don't understand the value of a big girl. Like, I think it's dumb. I don't like that shit. Too bothered about what their friends are gonna say about the fact that they're dating a fat girl. I think this is a lie. I think a lot of people that say, 
the reason why he doesn't want to date me is because his friends will make fun of him for that. I don't know if you guys have ever hung out with like guys or whatever. Most dudes don't really give a fuck who you're dating or like what you're talking about. I know that a lot of people watch like Love is Blind. I've been started watching Love is Blind. I actually really kind of do like Love is Blind. But uh, I know that a lot of people uh, think that guys are talking about their girlfriends to their friends. We're not. We don't. We just don't do that at all. We talk about other things. We talk about things that are irrelevant. We talk about, hey, bro, what do you think about that new character in Sparking Zero? Or like, what do you think about that Fortnite skin? Hey, bro, do you think how many how many bottle caps do you think you can like to put put on the tip of your dick if you had to? Um, if you had to choose between eating Elon Musk's ass or Jeff Bezos's ass for like, you know, a uh, Facebook uh, uh, for for like Amazon Prime for six months free or Twitter blue for six months free, which ass would you eat first? You know, first as in like you would eat both their asses, obviously, but which one would you choose first? It's, you know, it's obviously it's you eat. Elon Musk's ass first because you know that's just more diabolical. You save the best for last. I think Jeff Bezos personally shaves. Personally. But anyway, the point I'm making is um, most guys don't care. Like if you ask a guy like, hey, you're dating. He's going to go, oh, yeah, I just started dating this girl. I'm like, oh, that's cool. How is she? Oh, she's a cool person. She's really this and this. She does that. She does this. Oh, that's really cool, bro. Anyway, bro, I got this problem. Um, I don't know. I just got like a lump on the side of my neck. Like it's just like that's what it is, you know? It's just what, how it works as guys. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's different in your friend's group. Maybe you can let me know down below. But whenever I've, I've had conversations with like thousands of dudes um and we don't really care like you know maybe like once or twice you might talk about your girlfriend you have an issue with her uh or something like that but that's uh, very few and far between i don't understand why in this day and age and at my ripe age of 35 how it's still such a big fucking scandal to fancy a fat bird we're great that's fine um it's very easy for somebody to tell you how great they are but that doesn't really mean anything because everybody thinks they're really great it's it's a meaningless statement to be like oh yeah we're so great we're so amazing okay whatever dude like you're you know you're an individual or whatever dude i'm sure you're awesome but like with all due respect i don't give a fuck like <laughs> what does that have to do with anything i don't know i don't care that you think you're really great i also think i'm really great so i think that's an irrelevant point point. and also the reason why a lot of people don't want to date fat people in the year 2024 or in general it's not because of the social stigma or whatever. It's mainly because the incompatibility of lifestyle and then also the fact that you're literally dying. That's probably not a good thing, right? It's just like a straight up detriment to be fat in general. Still such a big fucking scandal to fancy a fat bird. It's like somebody going like, I just, I don't know why so many people just don't want to date a murderer. Like, I mean, it's obviously not the same thing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there's obvious reasons why people don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like the thing of like, it's obvious. Like there's, there's problems with you guys. But for some reason, you guys are not ever trying to talk about those problems. Instead, you want to focus on all the good stuff. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but like, you know what, dude? Like, I have more than one armpit. So that means you can probably put your penis in those things if you wanted to. Like, I guess, but like, nobody's really looking at that. We're great and we're sexy. And who gives a friggin' flying fuck? Me? Uh, me? Uh, do I not matter in this? Like, am I not a part of this relationship? Like, I thought that if. You Okay, I guess I, I guess we don't care. I guess it's it's not it's not about us. Um, I don't know about sexy. That's kind of like determined based on the person. That's kind of crazy. Are you projecting right now? Are you trying to say that you are sexy? I mean, I mean, I don't know about that one. Such a big fucking scandal to fancy a fat bird. We're great and we're sexy. And who gives a friggin' flying Me. fuck Me. if we've just got a few extra pounds? What do you mean a few extra? A few extra? How can you sit here and try to be like, yeah, dating is a fat girl, this and this and this. I mean, we're only a few extra. How can you sit here and make that video and then also try to like, you know, like beat around the bush or make it not as bad as it actually is? What do you mean a few extra? You big. It doesn't stop. That was an awful noise. It doesn't stop that we're amazing. A great shag. And beautiful. Um... <laughs> Damn, okay. A great shag, dude. Sex, right? That's what that means over there? I've, I've not heard of somebody say shag since, like, the old Austin Powers movies. Um, love Mike Myers, by the way. But, so what? So what, dude? Is sex really a... Okay, look. If you... Didn't you just say you don't want to date fuckboys or some shit like that? Why would you even bring up, like, having great sex as, like, a buying point for you? Aren't you more than that? Like, aren't you – isn't this video literally trying to put you as more than just having good sex or whatever? Like, I don't I don't care. Like, what – like, in the process of trying to, like, humanize yourself, you've literally dehumanized yourself. Like, what a <laughs> – congratulations, bro. Good job on that one. But uh, so, like, I don't fucking care, dude. What? Like, you're good at sex, but that doesn't mean necessarily that all fat women are going to be good at sex in the same way they, they always say, like, oh, man, you know, fat girls, bro, they give the best head. They suck the best. I've never...
that cannot be true okay i don't know who the fuck made that statement up dude that's not that's no come on now bro it, it comes down to experience and i know a lot of people out there they go man i want my girl's friend to be a virgin or whatever i don't want that personal responsibility i would much rather somebody that has a little bit of experience or whatever uh i remember one time when i was like dating younger and i was talking to this guy and he was like yo bro um this is like the this is like the first time you dated this girl right like she hasn't dated anybody before i was like yeah and then he was like hey wait um was she good at like giving head and i was like ah, not 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 really at the beginning but it's okay because like it's gotten better over time which is obvious like if you're dating somebody for a long time you get better at doing whatever that is that you're doing for that person which is fine because you get experience right and then he was like bro you know if she ever breaks up with you like you're basically teaching her how to suck other dudes dicks and i was just like yeah, bro. I guess you're right. I guess, I guess you're right, bro. I, you know what, man? I never thought about it like that. That's, you know what, man? That's great. Thank you so much for enlightening me with that information. Um, but the, you know, I guess his, I guess what he was saying is like, I don't even know what the fuck he was saying necessarily. It kind of made me feel bad. I don't know. I forgot what number it was. Four. It is a rough old world out there for anyone dating. And I honestly do believe that if you don't love yourself, as cringe as it sounds, then people aren't you're not gonna let the right people in you got first of all um you can't you can't sit there and say this is cringe but what you just said before about like being a really good shag is not cringe that's crazy the last thing you said was way cringe you're gonna let trash bags and you're gonna let people treat you like poo or maybe drop your standards a little bit because or what your wants and needs are because we don't like ourselves i've had to work on myself for so long and you're still fat Damn, bro. I mean, it looks like that didn't really do much, huh? What were you working on, dude? Like, doing a makeup routine? To get to a point where if you aren't there showing up when I need you the way I want it, then I am going to say no. And I'm not letting these crusty, dusty boys slide back in my DMs anymore. I think a lot of people have really, really bizarre expectations of standards. And it's okay to have standards. Don't get me wrong. But I think a lot of times people nowadays are just like are expecting something just ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. Just flat out ridiculousness, dude. Um, and it's not all people, of course. But I've been on dating apps before and I've talked to women. And the amount of times I've talked to a girl and then she goes, like, it's always, it's always like this, bro. It's always like this. It always starts off with, you're thinking she's cool. And then she goes, oh my gosh, like, what's your favorite anime? And you go, oh, my favorite anime is like Dragon Ball. And then you, then they hit you with, oh, I don't like guys that watch anime. Oh, <laughs> Oh wow, really? That's how you're gonna do me? You bear trapped me like that, dude? And you put, you bear trapped me and, and then the bear trap, you put cookies and try to make it seem like it was nice and easy and stuff like that. It, it sucks. It sucks a lot of dick when 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 you're talking to a girl and she goes, oh, how tall are you? And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm 5'10". And they go, ooh, 5'10"? Ooh, I don't know about that. You're a short king. I'm a, that's average. What do you mean I'm a short? That's average, that's normal. What are you talking about? Like, what do you, how tall are you? Oh, I'm 5'4". That's average. What are you talking about, bro? You're literally me, but you. What are you talking? This is not how that works, bro. Or I've had I've had oh, too many. I know a lot of people will sit there and say this isn't a common thing. It's a common thing where I've talked to women before, and I'm not a big fan of disclosing how massive of a meat that I have. I mean, I'll, I'll keep it ambiguous. Obviously, it's big, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you the exact measurements because there's not an instrument on the planet or in the universe that can even measure that, that particular type of entity. But when women ask, so how big is it? And you go, ah, I don't want to like, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. It's big, but it's not that, you know, I'm not going to tell you what it is. And they'll go, mm, if it's not 10 inches, then we can't talk. I'm just saying like, Jesus Christ, like 10 fucking inches. Like, do you even know what that is? Like, are you sure? Like, what, can you breathe when that's happening? Like, what are you talking? It's like reverse pregnancy. You know, you're just like, you're receiving it. You're just like, because it's just like, what are you even doing with that? Right? That's insane. What are you talking about? Um, but I've, I've had a lot of women say like 10 inches, which is crazy. I don't think it's not like you even got to know. It's not like you're going to like bob the builder and pull out like a measuring tape. I'm like, let me just see what 10, isn't 10 inches like that? Like that's a mad, it's like, okay, whatever. Um, obviously it's small for me, but the point I'm making is a lot of people have really, really bizarre expectations and, um, that sucks a lot of dick because like sometimes people will convince you that those are not bizarre expectations, but they are. Like, I remember I was talking to these one girls. Um, and these girls were like, mm, he has to have a master's degree and he's got to be making six figures. I'm like, you're 23. You know, like, what are you fucking talking about, bro? You want a guy that has a master's degree? What are you like, fucking 30? And you're making 100K? What are you crazy? And then like, oh, he has to, you know, six feet tall. Like, what are you talking about right now? This is so crazy. And don't get me wrong. Guys also have these like crazy, crazy ideas of what women are supposed to be. Oh man, her areola has got to be like literally one inch. Like, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, bro. What are you fucking talking about, dude? Or like, um... 
Oh man, I can't date bitches that got asymmetrical boobs. You know, I've heard these things. I've really heard these things before, and I'm just thinking like, eh, well, what is? Unless she's on like a teeter totter, it's not like it's gonna really do anything, right? It's not like a big deal. But I've I've had a lot of guys that will say some stuff like that, like, man, if she can't literally make me nut from touching my dick, then I can't fuck with her. I want a bitch that don't know how to read. Like I've had these I've had these conversations before, and um, it's always just weird on both sides, man. I don't know, man. But uh, the point I'm making is like, don't have unrealistic expectations, cause like you're gonna it's gonna fail. Like it's just ridiculous. Doesn't matter how good the aubergine is, it's just not happening anymore. And that's something you really need to work yeah, on. Yeah, I think that these people are setting themselves up for failure, I think, genuinely. Do not start going looking for relationships and dating if you are insecure and not loving yourself. And you're insecure. Don't know what for. You're turning. That was good. That was really good the way you finished that off right there. Wow, that was amazing. Why don't you put the love that you'd be giving some crusty boy that doesn't change his? Why do you keep saying crusty boy? Uh, what do you? What, why do you? Why do you keep saying that? Huh? What? Is, what does he got like dick cheese on his shit? Like what are you talking about, bro? What is? What is this crusty boy? Why are you? Uh, like you're calling us boys, okay? And you're calling us crusty now. Well, well, who are these people that you're dating, bro? First of all, why do you keep projecting this out onto every? You think that most women are dating crusty men? Cross, sorry, crusty boys. Come on, bro. Come on, give us some credit. All right, I wash daily and I wash my butthole cheats into yourself and five and i think this is the most important one don't put all your eggs in one basket that's anything from don't put all your eggs in just one crusty dusty boy to begin with why is it all crusty dusty boys bro like i just is this the only options you guys have is dating crusty dusty boys jesus christ is that it is that you guys, that's all you got like oh yeah when you're dating like three crusty dusty boys make sure you don't put all your eggs in that one crusty dusty boy because there's other crusty dusty boys how many crusty dusty boys are there damn go and enjoy dating go out put yourself out there more go to more exciting things you know like a buffets uh Maybe like go to the food bar at your local supermarket and then just, you know, no, wait for people there. Just hijack them. Like, you know, just, ah, I'm a fat girl, a crusty boy. Maybe open up the dating pool if you think you've got- Black guys. Black guys, yeah. But like a little bit of a bisexual tendency. Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, she's talking about women, right? Oh. Uh. I guess, like, fine, I guess, if you want to date women. Uh, I've heard horror stories of, like, girls dating girls when they're not gay. Uh, because, like, a lot of girls don't realize that. They don't, like, what do you do when you're at the end of the date and they go, like, so, like, who's going to, like, pay? Like, are you going to pay? Like, who's the, you know, like, what's going to happen here? How, who opens the door for who? Obviously, I'm fucking around with you. But uh, most women, don't don't most women, like, eat each other out recreationally? Like, I've met so many girls that are, like, oh, my God, like, I went over my friend Jennifer's house last night. And, like, I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, her boyfriend literally started a problem with her, and I couldn't believe it, so she was, like, telling me, and so I was like, oh my god, girl, stop, let me eat you out, and then I ate her out, and I was like, oh my god, it's so good, and then we watched Gossip Girl, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, that's an actual conversation, an actual conversation. I don't know what it is about girls just eating each other out recreationally. Guys can't do that. Guys can't just casually suck each other off. It's kind of, in the inadequacy is crazy, right? And to think that feminism went this far and girls can eat each other out recreationally, but guys can't suck each other. I'm not arguing that point, obviously. I'm not trying to suck off my friends. But you know what I'm saying? Like, guys will suck off each other. That's gay. But when women do it, nobody nobody even bats an eye. Nobody thinks it's gay. Nobody thinks it's weird. Um, but if you want to, like, glaze your lips with your friend's BBC, I mean, it's gay. It's gay either way, is what I'm saying. It's gay either way. I don't know what we're talking about, dude. Pansexual, go and explore it. Go and have a great time out there. There is just, just be careful. Just be careful. Because some people, like, you think, like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to eat this girl out. Snakes. I don't know. Whatever. Like, the, you don't know. So much going on in the world. And date your friends. Go and do mate dates. Date your friends? I don't agree with that. I don't think that's a good idea at all. No, do not do that. Because... It, what? No, absolutely not. Uh, I've had the same friends for like over 10 years at this point. Never once have I ever thought about sucking them off, ever. Not even a single time. I don't think that's, well, okay, we all thought about it. Like, we've all thought like, you know, you, you talk to your friends and they go like, I got that big shit and you're thinking like, that's, come on, like, let me see. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not thinking, you, I mean, I can say it, but you, you know, you hear it about it a lot. You're thinking like, this is obviously not true. Is it true? Is it how, you know what I'm saying? Like what, you know, what would it taste like? Because he's black, you know, a lot of moisturizers. Think, I don't know, bro. You know what it is. You know what it is. The point I'm making is, I don't think it's a good idea 
to date your friends because once you cross that line, it's over. It's GG. That's not your friend anymore. That's a person that wants to have sex with you consistently. Um, and it's a weird, it's weird after that. Maybe it's different for girls, but like you can't have sex with your guy friends and think it's cool after that. They're gonna think you're gay. Go and do solo dates. Go and look after yourself. That's cringe, bro. Can you imagine somebody saying like, oh yeah, go go date your friends and do solo dates. No friends, sad. And just have fun. And just explore. The most important thing in life is you being happy. It's not about finding a partner to have a relationship with. Have a little think right now about how many of your friends that are in relationships or have babies with people that they're unhappy with. And it's so I think that's just way too brown for her, dude. Jesus Christ, man. Latina in the cheeks, white in the face. So important to remember that I would rather much be on my own single and happy and in a good place than to be in an unhappy home where i feel trapped and i don't feel safe so look after yourself it's not bad none of that stuff was bad actually it was all fine information for the most part most of it was very general you know what no it was kind of bad information huh date your friends what are you talking about anyway guys that's the end of the video i hope everybody enjoyed today's video and if you did i'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like on the video comment the video subscribe to the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff for me i'd appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in blush because you're making me blush oh my god stop stop what are you doing oh my god God. Oh my god, you're so bad. What are you doing? Oh my god. What? There are people here. What are you doing? Oh wow. Oh my god, it's so big. Okay, come on, hurry up. Let's do it real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. Okay, fine. Okay. Let me stop. Um, but anyway, leave blush down below. You're so amazing. You're so beautiful. You're so spectacular. You're so handsome. You got a great spoon in your sink right now. And I love that. I love that spoon in the sink. It's very silvery. It's very nice. It's very shiny. I love the way you wash it with a sponge or a washcloth or whatever you wash it with. You're very, uh, you're very, uh, very good at washing dishes and, you know, cleansing that spoon and or fork, depending on what it is. I think it's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for ensuring that when you dip that spoon in cereal or oatmeal or whatever you're eating it's clean you never you don't have the residue from whatever's left over from the other meal you know you're looking at it and you go like this like what is that what is that is that is that lasagna you know like you, you, and you're eating the residue it's got to feel bad but anyway you're beautiful you're spectacular you're amazing thank you for so much for for watching today's video in its entirety <sighs> social medias will be linked down below guys enjoy the rest of your day